hear me? Yeah. Okay, this is not my senior speech, but nevertheless, this is important, so get excited. <laughs> get hyped. Nine days ago, I was rendered on the losing side of a gentleman's wager. In other words, I lost a bet. And in accordance with the terms of said bet, I must now speak the truth about my noble classmate, the Honorable Michael D'Angelo. Can you please stand up for us so we can see you, the man of the hour. To start, Michael's a ray of sunshine upon an otherwise dark and lifeless world. He's kind, thoughtful, somewhat intelligent, manly, hardworking, and just a pleasure to have around. Here's some things to know about Michael. Don't fact check me. Fact one, two years ago, Michael wrestled and defeated a wild rhinoceros with nothing but his bare hands. Fact two, Michael's a big spender. I went saw him walk to a rural farms and buy like three candy bars without even checking the price. It's basically Bill Gates. Fact three, Michael took the SAT on an hour of sleep and got a perfect score, 1600 out of 1600. Okay, you should fact check me now. But for context, for context of Michael's pure dominance and ability, take a moment to think about the greatest and most influential human beings to ever live. Moses. <laughs> Julius Caesar, William Shakespeare, Isaac Newton, O.J. Simpson, <laughs> Bernie Madoff, Kevin Macaluso. <laughs> Meek Mill, <laughs> Dr. Moranto, <laughs> and, and Dwight Schrute. <laughs> now, between these people, we have Bears, Beats, Battlestar Galactica, <laughs> countless literary masterpieces, the invention of calculus, one awful haircut, over 150 years of combined prison sentences and two drug charges, a Heisman Trophy and successful murder defense, $65 billion in financial securities fraud, and two consecutive teaching jobs lost. <laughs> now, now, these, these are fantastic accomplishments, and somehow, somehow, Michael Amir D'Angelo is on their level. His greatness is almost unmatched, and is certainly unquestionable. He's simply a fresh of breath air, yes I meant to say that. So now that you're all convinced of Michael's prowess, I'd like to conclude by saying that a moment without Michael D'Angelo would be like a day without sunshine, or me on a tag day without my school uniform. <laughs> I'm honored to call him my friend, and I aspire to become just half the man that he is. Thank you.